Hello, welcome to Teach Yourself Good English program through my modern English channel. This subject matter of discussion is IELTS speaking. Instructions for a good score in IELTS speaking. My dear brothers, sisters, students, and steam viewers please subscribe to my channel so that we can make more videos for you my dear IELTS learners and IELTS examinees you should keep in mind that first impressions are very important in all interviews a confident candidate has a better chance than a nervous and hesitant candidate you need to make a positive first impression in order to impress the IELTS examiner. If you don't understand a language of the interviewer, you can ask for clarification. For example, the interviewer says, do you like traveling on the tube? You can say, I beg your pardon. Or you can say, I didn't catch that. Would you mind repeating it, please? Or you can say, could you repeat the question, please? Or you can say, could you repeat that, please? Or you can say, would you mind repeating the question, please? You can clarify the meaning of a specific word or phrase that you don't understand. You can say, sorry, I don't know what you mean by to you. Or you can say, would you mind explaining that to you? Or you can say, could you explain that to you, please? You can check your understanding of a question by saying, do you mean the underground train or do you ask me whether I like traveling on the tube? Or you can say you are asking me about underground train, aren't you? You can check the interviewer's understanding. You can use such terms. Have I answered your question? Or you can say, does that give you a clear idea? In giving detailed answer of a big question, you may need time to pause. In order to gain time to think, you can use feelers such as, well, I have to think about it. Or you can say, well, how can I put it? Or you can say, let me see. Or you can say, let's see. How to maintain coherence and give an organized answer. Before beginning to answer the question, it is possible to comment on it by saying, for example, that's a difficult question or that's a very interesting question. Sometimes summary questions, summary sentences or phrases you can use in your answer. For example, the interviewer says, what's the procedure for getting a driving license in your country? You can say, oh, it's very simple. There are only few things you have to do. First, then, after that, and then finally. I will show you a simple model answer. For example, Oh, it's fairly simple. There are only few things you have to do. First, you have to obtain the necessary information and application form from the concerned department of the government. Then you have to fill in the application and submit it to the respective department along with your photographs, record papers and certificates. After that, they will ask you for a driving test and fix you a date for this test. And then finally, on the basis of the result of your field test, you will be either given a driving license or you will be refused and asked for another field test. This is how perhaps a driving license is obtained in our country, I suppose. When 
you cannot remember a right answer or a particular word or thing or you get tied up during your conversation you can use such terms then what oh yes i have got it when you think you have forgotten something to tell the interviewer you can use such phrases oh one more thing i would like to mention which i have forgotten to tell you when you think your interview has been finished you need to show the interviewer that you have said everything you can use such terms i think that's all or you can say what else can i say or you can say that's it i think or you can say i can't think of anything else my dear brothers sisters and ielts learners and examiners examinees that's the end of our today's class please make sure you subscribe to our channel thank you everybody thank you all my dear language learners on behalf of teachers and good english program i would like to extend my best thanks to you for watching my videos and attending my classes i'd like to draw your sincere attention to some important books which i have written these books are found in our academy called modern language academy located at how uh, east to be bazar select if you want to collect these books and use them i'm sure you will be highly benefited and will be well acquainted with modern current english first one is this one is actually for ordinary general learners this is a self study reference book for all types of bangladeshi english learners this is actually teach yourself good english a self study communicative grammar for language learners if you are interested you can collect these books and you can make comment on the videos thank you everyone thank you everybody second one is modern functional grammar which come to english this one is actually a bit bigger this one is for inter intermediate and degree level bangladeshi students and teachers in fact this book is a complete and perfect communicative english grammar called modern functional grammar which come to english and the third one is english version of modern functional english with community grammar with communicative english this book is designed for ielts toefl and english medium learners at schools colleges and universities if you are interested you can collect these books from our academy from modern language academy located at east subhid bazar sirat and you can make comment on the videos thank you everybody thank you all